the beauty of it that people don't realize. People say, oh, it's a resort, it's a resort, but it's, it's actually not a resort in the traditional term. Traditional term resort, you like, okay, going to Aruba, I'm going to Aruba for the beach, but I'm going to pick the best hotel there. But why are you there? Not for the hotel, you're there for the beach. The people that come to us come to us specifically because we have an event going on that, that draws them. So we are drawing the people into us, either by a wedding or an outdoor event. So we have that control. Whereas other places, the environment controls them, not the actual event. We control the events. And our events are contracted out for two years. So we already know, and predict, it's not even predictable. It's the fact that we already have it contracted for the next two years that we have weddings already scheduled. We know the revenue that we're going to be getting. So that, that's great. And inside of it, and, and because I've, I've um, invested in multifamily, I'll use the, use the example. In, in, traditionally in multifamily, you, you buy something, you'll go in there and you'll want to renovate a little bit, right? You, you add washers and dryers, you can renovate the kitchen. Now you're going to charge a little bit more, but that now, now that renter is going to be in there for a year at that same price. In resorts like us, we have the ability to kind of, we have what I call levers, lots and lots of levers. We can change and fluctuate the pricing on a daily basis of like the hotel, you know, so depending on what's going on with the economy, we're not stuck with that. We have a wine club that we can adjust the prices on. We have wine tastings there that when a bride is there with her bridal party, we charge for that. These are all these added revenue streams that we can add on golf, golf memberships, uh, wine memberships, um, all these other things that we're doing on property, you know, during during the wintertime, there's festivals that we have, we have all these beer garden stuff. So we have a lot of revenue sources on these properties that make it more unique for yeah, uh, I love it. for people that come. And like you said before, it, it is, um, well, if you compare to the stock market, they always tell you, don't be an emotional investor, right? Don't be an emotional investor. But here you are an emotional investor because you're going to a golf court or you're going to a wedding and it becomes an emotional thing. But when somebody's there on property and they see how beautiful it is, people always ask, well, how can, be, how can I be a part of this? How can I invest in this type of thing? Because they were emotionally affected by it and they can see like the wonderful things that are going on on the property. And when uh, we investors come, we say, come to my golf course, come to my winery. Yeah, that's yeah. kind of nice. It's like... I'm going to go ahead and wine and dine you at our place and you can see what you're investing in. That's pretty cool. Exactly. And you're, you're, you're an owner of that. You're a piece of, you know, piece of your pie.